Hi, I'm Patrick. Welcome to Rhythm University. This segment is going to show you how to use rhythm software to get into an effective planning rhythm. So rhythm gives you a platform to think, plan, and do. And in my book, also called Rhythm, I show many case studies on how these three simple rhythms provide a proven method to help companies punch through difficulties as they grow. And uh, in this segment, I'm going to focus on the plan rhythm. So here's why we care to plan. We want to avoid these, right? We want to not fail to achieve our goals. We want to, you know, don't waste money and resources. Don't have a large project cemetery. Uh, what I mean by that is projects that you've started and stopped and, and you really wasted your time and resources. And then don't have misaligned teams. And unfortunately, misaligned teams just add to the wastage, uh, working on things going in di different disparate ways. Instead of those pitfalls, you want to do the following. You want to test and execute your winning moves well. Everyone is engaged and everyone knows what we want to do as a company. Know what winning means, then know how to adjust at critical points in order to win. So let me start with this. You know, Execution planning is not strategic planning. And here's where some people are confused. Uh, I think strategic planning you know, is about just getting your, your strategic plan done, but not being able to know exactly exactly how to execute it and that's that's what execution planning is so here's how rhythm helps you to get it done you know we want to spend more time discussing what it takes to execute we want to know who's on it so you want to take the company's priorities you want to make sure you plan and communicate that very well and you want to plan with your individual teams as well confirm the resources that are going to be used to to take on the key initiatives and priorities and then cascade that down to every department so every department has has clarity on what they're supposed to do. So your plan rhythm. Every year, you want to have the right focus. You want to know what the financial targets are. You want to know what you want to hit. Every quarter, you got to have extreme focus and clarity and, and know exactly how you're going to get there. So let me take a look at your annual plan. There's so many possible things to work on. And what you want to do is choose the right focus. And when you have that, you want to have a destination postcard, a compelling and challenging goal that focuses the company. You know, you want this also to be memorable. I always like to think that I don't want to waste a year. I want every year to advance something important. And you can use Rhythm to prepare for your annual planning meeting to discuss and choose the right initiatives and then collaborate. So let me show you where and how. So you go to the main menu and you click on annual planning. And when you get here, you see these three options here on the left. Annual prep, annual planning prep, uh, the annual plan itself, and the key initiatives. So in annual planning prep, you can have your teams come in here and prepare well for the annual planning session. What things do they want to start, stop, and keep? Any opportunities and threats that they are seeing, and then any attachments, documents they want to share, uh, and then any comments, again, to collaborate as you go along. Then in your annual planning session, you want to know what the focus of the year is. What are your financial targets captured up here? What is the main thing, your theme? What does success look like? What are your critical uh, critical KPIs, critical numbers, and then how are you going to reward and celebrate your success? And then you want to have key initiatives. What are the top three to five key initiatives? Think of these as you know big epic projects that have to get done for the year. And, and then you know in your quarterly plan, you want to do something very similar. But I want you to think of your quarterly plan as a 13-week race. You want to have extreme focus and alignment when you're running this race clear priorities, clear success criteria. We call that red, yellow, green. And then have dashboards uh, to do that, to, to let you run your race, and then collaborate with your teams. It is so important to plan with your teams versus shoving a plan down their throats. So if you go to your uh, quality planning, it's right here. You'll notice the preparation is very similar, the plan uh, very similar, or your quality focus, your priorities, and then and then this is what your plan should look like. You know, the top five priorities for the quarter, and then your energy map. Your energy map shows you every single priority that every single person has in the company and how it's connected to these company priorities. By looking at the number of squares, you can tell how much energy is going towards your number one priority. So one of the tests that I like to do is I call the energy test. I want to make sure that I have enough uh, energy going towards my number one goal enough priorities. If every priority is out there, 
you want to make sure you have very clear red, yellow, green success criteria, as you see here. Okay, so that's what you do for your quarterly plan. So, you know, this is what separates a great execution plan from a weak one. In weak ones, people celebrate as soon as they know what the priorities are, but they didn't take the time to really visualize what it takes to get done. In your planning session, don't be surprised if you need to take two to three hours to actually visualize your execution. If you can't see it, you will not be able to execute it. And so proof that you can see it is you've got to have good red, yellow, green success criteria. Everyone's got to have three to five priorities. And in every single individual priority, make sure there are three to five key milestones for each priority. If you can achieve that, then I know that you've been able to visualize your plan of execution. And then test your plan. I've got three key tests for you. Financial, ask yourself, will this plan achieve your financial targets? Energy, you know, do you have enough energy going towards your number one priority? And that's what I call just now the energy map. Show it to you again. My number one priority in this case is to secure these $100,000 contracts. I got lots of priorities, lots of people working on it, lots of priorities. So that way I can tell that the bulk of the energy of the company is going towards securing those those uh, $400,000 projects, contracts, because that's my number one priority in this example. And then accountability. You know, it's so important to have red, yellow, green success criteria because what you see later on in the do rhythm is you have red, yellow, green criteria, then you can have accountability to succeeding. And when you have accountability, you can then talk about what adjustments you need to make if you're not, if you're not achieving the plan. And so red, yellow, green criteria is so important so you can make adjustments later. So in summary, we talked about your plan rhythm. Uh, I want you to use the plan rhythm to have strong execution plans every year, every quarter. Think of it as a 13 week race. And then visualize the execution and make sure you test it. Financial targets, energy on the right things and accountability. And that's what we talked about in this segment. So I wanna encourage you guys, you know, and remind you guys, I think the most important thing is to avoid this communication gap. Just remember, when you came up with a plan, you probably thought about it about a hundred times. And then we share with a team one time. And then we wonder how come they didn't catch it that quickly. Well, no wonder why, right? I mean, we thought about it a hundred times and they heard it maybe once. So here's the solution. You know, take the time to plan together. Slow down so that you guys can execute well together. People who do the work need to know what the work is and that they must do. This is the number one reason why execution plans fail when the staff doesn't know what needs to really get done. It seems so clear to us. We ask ourselves how come our teams don't understand. So make time to plan with our teams and be patient. And remember, you've thought about it a hundred times. So it's going to take a, a few times to share and for your team to gain clarity as well.